Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 with the Flying Fent. This is episode number 8 of Orthodox Ottomans. I think it's 8. I think it's episode 8 of Orthodox Ottomans. Let's just hop right into it. We are, what is this? We've got a diplomatic insult, Cassius Valli against Venice. Good, good for us. Good for us. Okay, so, big questions I had. We can improve relations by 15 more, right? And then even with an alliance, we would still be... No, that should work. If we improve relations, then get an alliance, and then give them the 25 ducats or whatever to make them happy with us, we should be able to annex them. Now with these guys, I'm going to stop improving with them because they hate us. So, you know, what's that going to accomplish, really? Uh, let's go ahead and improve relations with Athens so that we can annex them. These guys have no allies, but... I'm not going to go to war with no Cassus Belli and take the massive stability hit. That goes along with doing that and the aggressive expansion and so on and so forth. Um, I do want to start lose 10 prestige. Oof. No, I will take the tax modifier, absolutely. How, do, how did that affect our money? Excellent. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I was going to say, I do want to start building my income buildings, but I don't really while I'm losing money. I want to wait until I'm making money before I do that, to be honest. Uh, let's take a look here, actually. Are there any cores to make? There are not. I am converting in... Oh, man, it's going to take forever. Harsh treatment. Revolt risk is like at 4%. It's fine. All Everything here is green, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we are reinforcing. We're getting there, right? These will be up to 14 each, so... I mean, it's close. We need only 5,000 more here and only 4,000 more here. We have had a revolt, which unfortunately is going to cut into our... Oh, and I have an extra leader here now, don't I? Um, I do, and I am going to, I think I'm going to fire this guy. For now, take the good general, and go to Ankara, then into Konya, and then come back to Constantinople. 11 should be enough to break that siege, but just in case it isn't, I'm going to bring in some reinforcements from here, and then return to Edelne. I looked up how that's pronounced. Adelene. It's not a Dern at all. Adelene. Um, now, my spare general, I believe I can just fire. That's not... This is... Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to fire that guy. I was one over anyway, so this will bring me down and, and kind of put me in line with where I want to be. Uh, lose 10 prestige. Oh, this one again. More national tax modifier. Did that stack? It did. Cool. That is cool. Unfortunately, we're about to lose some more troops in battle, so our cost to reinforce is going to go up again. Uh, which is unfortunate, but I mean, you got you got to do something, right? Okay, recall. So Trebizond is at 119. Oh, it's not high enough. I thought lose stability. I will lose the powers. I don't want to lose the stability. Uh, the alliance will raise this by 50, right? Which takes us to 160. No, that will be enough. Offer Alliance, 169, and now once we give them a bribe, they will be willing to, to join. I don't know how big a bribe, if it's only 25, we can do it right now, otherwise we're going to have to wait. So let's just, is someone knocking? Hello? Not possible to send gifts due to running a deficit while having loans. Hmm. See, well there's not much I can do about that right now. Um, oh, no, come on, man. This is pretty ridiculous. Like, there's barely any revolt risk. It's like 1%. Why do I have non-stop revolts when I have a 1% revolt risk? <sighs> I guess it's not non-stop. But it is annoying. Not much I can tell you. You guys come in and then go to Con no, come in and then go to Constantinople. You guys go there, then there, then there. The um and now another revolt. Where all the way over there? Man. Okay, well, you guys are going to Izmit, you can continue to go to Izmit, and you guys can continue to go to Constantinople. You're just going to get there via 
a long way. Oh my, come on now. It, you know what? Forget this noise. All my military power is apparently going to be used for harsh treatment now. Because I can't just keep dealing with revolts. I'll never get my manpower up. It's not, it's not even like revolts of one or two, right? Like, it's fairly, fairly large revolts. These were almost reinforced, and so now look at them. They're like half size. Should have enough uh, manpower to harsh treat something else. Ugh, this is frustrating. Yeah, I've got almost no people left, so I'm back to reinforcing forever. Uh, boost stability, and then I will go to back to here. Okay, well you have zero percent, so you're not getting any help. <laughs> I'm not we're gonna worry about a zero percent revolt risk. I can tell you that right now. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Is everything down to zero now? It is. So in theory, there should be no revolt risk. I know it still says there is, but it's just the game being crazy. There is none. Oh, man, I'm down to 8,000 troops. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I have spirit from that. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, Byzantium is no longer angry. They won't vassalize. Yes, they will. Once we get the relations up and everything, they will accept vassalization. I am confident of it. So we have that. We'll go ahead and improve relations. Too many, I know. But Athens soon will no longer be a concern. Don't need the power because I can't do anything because I have no manpower in it. Oh, who's Georgia at war with? Occupied by Crimea. Ah, uh, Crimea, don't do it. Don't block me from being able to go north. That would be utterly tragic. Uh, and I have uh, made friends over here. Yeah, they all like me, but they won't accept. What the world marriage me? Is that even possible? I don't think it is, because we're not the same religious group. Alright, whatever. So, harsh treatment is now expiring everywhere. Oh man. Oh, but there's only. Okay, it's only in three places. Moria, Kea, and Kosovo. So, in theory, no revolt risk. Excellent. Too many diplomatic uh, relations, I know. Loans are coming due, I know. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. What I can do, actually. This will allow me to reinforce, but also, I shouldn't be taking on any more. Ah, crap. <laughs> I was going to say, I won't be taking on any more debt, but then it ticked and I did. Okay, so let's see. There we go. Now we're making some money. We're going to stop, stop taking loans. We probably have a bunch to repay, don't we? Uh, how many loans do we have? 25 loans. We owe $2,000. That really was an expensive war. Too expensive. Too expensive to the point that I can't afford. Austria's going to war with Bavaria. Sure. You guys have fun over there in Europe. So it looks like Georgia made... They made peace with Crimea. And now they're at war with Kazan. Austria's annexing territory. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the prestige, even though I do need money. That may seem like a silly thing to do, but I find it's easy to get money, you just have to wait, but it's hard to get prestige. Um, I'm getting 360 each month. 720. It's going to take me 20 months to reinforce, if I read that correctly. Almost two years to reinforce. 
That is horrible. Yeah, it's fine. Losing seven ducats a month, or point zero seven ducats a month, seven ducat cents a month is acceptable. Ooh, gaining point one six. That's nice. Excellent. No revolt risk. Okay. I feel like we're kind of in a semi-stable state now. Okay, this relations are really coming up with Athens, which is good. I need to annex them when able. These guys still even... And look at that. I told you they accept vassalization, and in fact... 50, 60. Ooh. Ooh. I, sh I should be able to uh, vassalize Byzantium fairly quickly. That's uh, that's good. It's wonderful. Uh, Trebizond, obviously, as well. I should be able to vassalize rather quickly. In fact, I can get that up to 170. Yeah, I can almost... Oh, that's fantastic. This is fantastic. Once we're done reinforcing and we can start getting our manpower up, it's going to be even more fantastic. Oh, revolt risk where? Constantinople. Well, I certainly don't want that to happen. So there we go. Problem a solved. Alright. Oh, look at that. 50% done, Adana. It'd be nice if that was going quicker, too, let me tell you. Or if I had more of those guys. That actually might be something worth considering. We do have a spare idea group here. Religious ideas would work very well for us. The problem is, I don't really want to... Administrative tech is kind of the slow one for me. Uh, I think I think I'm going to stick with my original plan and go with a... a military idea, and I think offensive idea would be a good one, because our territory is going to get large, and having that, for, that uh, force march will be useful. Not to mention, leader shock. Good to have. Recruitment time, fantastic. Leader fire, who cares? Prestige, that's a good one. Siege ability is excellent. Uh, land force limits, eh. But discipline, another good one. So kind of everything in here, with the exception of a handful, are, are, are fantastic for us. Quality would be another one that would be good because it increases, you know, like everything. Although it was better when that discipline bump was higher. Um... Is there anything that does and power recovery speed plus twenty percent? So quantity ideas would be a good one for us as well. J even if just to get that manpower recovery speed. Does anything else do manpower recovery speed? I don't think it does. I think that's it. I think if you want manpower recovery, that's all you get. Twenty percent boost. Yeah. Now what else is in here? National Manpower Modifier. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Regiment Cost. That'd be nice. Maintenance. Eh. 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 Everything else is pretty lackluster. You know? We could always take it just to get these two, and then kind of ignore the rest of the idea group until later. Uh, although there is also the question of what other benefits are derived from that idea group. For example, policies. What policies does that idea group unlock? That's something I have to look up. This army is almost reinforced. It should be good. Because it, it re I don't know if you noticed, but it tends to like, reinforce one army. And then it reinforces the next one. So I'm, I'm going to guess the things that reinforce here are cavalry, because this thing here is maxed on cavalry. But it's going to reinforce this, and then it will start reinforcing the next one. So this one is almost there. Are we getting like 100? Maybe it's doing half and half. I didn't think it did that. I always thought it reinforced kind of one army all the way. That was the trend that I had noticed. Uh, how much gold am I making? I should be making more because I have less. Oh yeah, look at that. So we can go ahead and bump this up. The higher this is, the quicker I reinforce. So I'm just going to kind of try and keep up with... Yeah, I'll go one more. Uh, production efficiency power. 
This is probably the diplomatic insult. Don't care. So now we are getting... No, we're still getting only 360 each month. Oh, maybe I misunderstood that too. Hopefully... Oh. oh well, there we go. One, one army completely reinforced, the other army is halfway there. Good. Oh, I just think we've been fighting this manpower dream for so long. Um, attack, always the best option. Um, do I want discipline or do I want morale? If I'm not mistaken, I already have morale boost, don't I? Uh, would that not show up here? Somewhere? Where is... Morale, there we go. Uh, from technology, power projection, army tradition, prestige, Suleiman Shalabai. So it's 2.84. You go up to over 3. Or do I want to boost the discipline? Which would allow me to wreck more fools. Um, the thing is, I'm not a big fan of fort defense. I'm going to go with attack is always the best option. The volt risk is back, so let's boost stability to get rid of it. There we go. Uh, I'm losing a, a little bit of money. I'm hoping that trend turns around here pretty quickly. No, I think we. I think I boosted this a little bit too high. Let's go with that. Uh, stop trying to improve relations with Byzantium, okay? We're at 145. Let's offer them an alliance. 195, and then as soon as we get a chance, we can offer them vassalization. And this is good, because we do want to get this done before Athens is annexed, otherwise they're not going to like us as much. Same with Trebizond. Is 165, I can improve relations. Not enough. Alright, so I can improve in 12. If we move to 177, I need to get up to 190. Uh, so... Yeah. I mean, I might as well improve relations with them. Um, but I'm not gonna... I mean, I could... I realize I could take another loan, give them the gift, take them as a vassal, then annex Athens, but... That sounds like too much. These guys are done, let's go ahead and annex. That will get rid of our too many relations penalty. Yeah, we'll move over by one, so that will fix that. Hungary, we want to see... they don't want an alliance. Oh, wow. Okay, because they're in a personal union now. Alright, but Austria will take an alliance. Which means Hungary, let's break royal ties. How about that? That's what I'm going to do, I'm going to break royal ties with Hungary and uh, become allied with Austria. Austria, do you happen to hate Poland? Burgundy, Bohemia, France, Aragon, Lithuania. You don't. Maxed out with Trebizond. Okay, let's go ahead. We take, what is it, a two stability hit? A one stability hit? That's nothing. Send. What is the revolt risk here? I'm just going to boost it because I don't have to deal with it. Um, and then Austria. How would you like an alliance? You can be pals. Old pal. Yeah, that's only going to be for one month, so I don't... There we go. I no longer have too many relations. Do I want to royal marry Hungary? I don't think I do. There we go. We integrated. Uh, that would have left me with military that I don't want. Disband them. Uh, what did you give me? A galley. Okay, that's fine. You can join my royal fleet. There we go. Uh, our army reinforcing is still going nicely. I'm making one gold per turn. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Okay. And we got up to 177. Good. Okay, um... Hmm... 
Hmm. So Georgia has made peace with all their wars. Georgia, would you vassalize? Oh, you actually might. I need you like me more. Minus twenty nine. That's pretty close. Be two per right. They might be able to. Let's just improve relations. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. If they don't, we can go to war with them. They're still waiting for manpower to recover anyway. So what does it matter? Um, is anyone up here? Lithuania. Are you under anybody? No, you are independent. Denmark, Livonian, Poland, and Brandon. Wow. I might become your friend later when we get our way up there. But for now, I think things are progressing nicely. It'd be nice if we can move faster. I think I should have been using mercenary sooner than I was. Unfortunately, I waited until my manpower was virtually non-existent, and I had too much revolt risk, and I didn't bother getting rid of that, and so on. So a lot of mistakes have led me to the point where I've been kind of at a standstill for a bit. But we only need 3,000 more, which I think is only about 10 months. Yeah, we've only got about 10 months of reinforcing to go. Uh, and then we will be in a good position to start watching our manpower climb and maybe start wreaking havoc again uh, around the world. No more uh, coalitions against this either, which is nice. Uh, so we can pretty much do whatever we want as soon as we have some manpower. But that's going to be in a future episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.